Hello, and welcome to my book, Beneath the Fickle Moon. The twelve chapters, story poems, that make up the book follow Jasper, a border collie farm dog. From the villainous hands of a bitter and brutish farmer, a fate sadly not uncommon for many animals, to a family who offer Jasper a home with security and love. And with each story point comes another adventure for Jasper and the many characters you will meet within the pages of the book. The excerpt you will hear comes from chapter two, a break in the chain, and gives a first glimpse of Jasper. Night had fallen sharply like a fist in the face, punching out the light from this desperate place. The moon peered down looking quizzical and stark as a bitter chill cut like a sigh through the yard. The air was now crisp and finely tinged with frost, with glistening crystals like diamonds in dust. And from a window a light spilled out like a fan, a pointed finger from a devil to the damned. And the voice from the house was a voice deep with drink. It made the night even colder and the timid to shrink. For that forbidding pile held a cold, heartless brute, embittered and wallowing in his own solitude. And away from the house, by the tumble-down barn, in a shelter of sorts, two eyes brightly shone. Not with that glow that makes the heart surge, but the pain of contempt induced by deep hurt. For three summers and three winters had forged into one, either frozen to the concrete or scorched by the sun, each day being the length that the rusty chain allowed with a kick and a curse from the brute from the house. For Jasper's life was a torment from hell, not for him the hills and the sweet-scented smells, or the bliss of a chase in the waving golden corn, or on the heels of the sheep for the purpose he was born. And the only spark left in his dark, dismal world was the daily appearance of a smiling little girl who with a wave and a giggle would skip her way home to leave the magic of her passing alive in his soul. For this poor wretched animal all his dreams would fly free and skip down the lane to the beat of her feet and his ears would prick up to all the distant sounds from the cottage down the lane where his heart could be found. But the cold now bit hard into stiffening bones, and this night without mercy would be cruelly long. A drunken rasping cough like a rumble of guns turned his musings to the nightmare his life had become. Now each minute would slip by down the passage of time, as each hour is announced by the distant church chime and a silence like a shroud enveloped the night's gloom, overseen by the cynical, smug face of the moon. But then Jasper's nose caught the faintest of scents, not the familiar aromas that the yard could present, but that of a stranger, not a friend, but a foe, and his sentry's awareness became taut like a bow. With breath held short and that cool sniper's keenness, his eyes scanned the whole of that sinister bleakness, then out of the shadows crept a solitary form of sleekness and menace with each step on the stone. Well, what happens next? Well, there's only one way to find out, and it's my wish that you enjoy reading the stories of Beneath the Fickle Moon as much as I enjoyed writing them. You may also like to look out for the sequel, Still Beneath the Fickle Moon, and my new book, The Ballad of Jesse Gray. So from me, Brian Crane, I wish you well and thank you for listening.